Well, hello and welcome back to the Pet Parenting Reset with me, your host, Jessica Fisher. Today we are talking about aggression in cats. And this is, this is a very interesting topic because there are actually a lot of different reasons why a cat could be displaying aggressive behavior. And we need to take them all into account because there could be a lot going on with your cat. So let's get right into this topic, but really quick before we do, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for being here. My name is Jessica. I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. And on this channel, we talk about all sorts of things, dog training, behavior, cat behavior, um, dog and cat enrichment and nutrition, all of the things with a holistic approach. So I am no stranger to cats. I have had cats my entire adult life. I had cats when I was a child too, but of course as a child, I wasn't as responsible as my parents were, so. <laughs> um, but I have always had cats and generally multiple cats. Right now I have four and while I wouldn't say that any of the four that I have right now are overtly aggressive, there can be times when aggression comes out, though I have had at least one <laughs> cat in the past that comes to mind who was just all around generally an aggressive cat. She was wonderful. The only thing that I would change about anything for her um, would certainly not be any aggression that she had towards me. I can handle it, uh, but any stress that may have been in her life that led to the aggression, I wish I could change for her. But unfortunately she has passed and there isn't anything more I can do about that for her. So, but you have a cat and you're concerned about aggression. That's why you clicked on this video. So let's talk about some of the reasons why your cat could be displaying aggressive behavior. And no matter what, let's understand that aggression is actually a form of communication. So while it may not be your preferred method, method of communication, it is a method of communication for our cats. They are trying to tell us something. So what could they be trying to tell us? So cats are both predator and prey, which makes them pretty unique. There aren't too many animals in the animal kingdom that are both predator and prey in the way that cats are in the wild. So if you think about it, <laughs> they simultaneously are aggressive and very capable hunters while also needing to protect themselves from larger prey animals that uh, treat them as as uh, prey. So, larger predatory animals is what I should have said. Now, that being said, aggression for our cats can often be a sign of pain. And the reason that I brought all of that up in the beginning is because, because they are both predator and prey, they are very, very good at hiding when they don't feel good because they don't want to show weaknesses to predatory animals. Now, <laughs> even though they live in our homes with us, cats are not terribly domestic, domesticated. Um, I'm actually writing a book about cats and this is one of the topics in the book because it's arguable that right now, this time we're living in is when we are domesticating house cats. There hasn't been a whole lot of domestication on our part in the many hundreds and thousands of years that cats have lived alongside of us. so. It's arguable, again, that we are currently in the process of domesticating the house cat. And that means there are still a lot of traits that they retain from their wild ancestors. And one of them being hiding signs of pain because they don't want to be easy prey targets. So what do we do about that? Well, if your cat is all of a sudden expressing aggressive behaviors and you think it could be pain related that is the first thing we want to think of we do need to get our cat into the veterinary's office the veterinarian's office to get a thorough checkup let them know about the sudden changes in behavior the increased aggression and that you are concerned that they may be sick or ill all right the second type of aggression that we often see in cats is territorial aggression Cats are very territorial. So even if you have a single cat household, um, but especially if you have a multi-cat household, territorial aggression can occur. Territory is very important to our cats. 
again, one of these instinctive traits passed down from their wild ancestors. And so even if you have a single cat, there could be other animals, other cats outside of the home that are encroaching on your cat's territory or so your cat may think. Uh, or if you do have a multi-cat household, there could be territory issues going on, hierarchical issue, issues, did I say that right? There's a hierarchy, right, between your cats. You know this, if you have a multi-cat household, you know that there are clear boundaries that each of your cats sets for the others. So there could be issues going on there and territory issues, making sure we have plenty of vertical space um, for all of our cats and that there are multiple exits no matter where your cat is in your home. That's going to help tremendously so that your cats aren't butting heads and having these territorial issues. Of course, if you do have a multi-cat household or even a single cat household and there are territory issues in play, we wanna catch this quicker, sooner rather than later because we don't want it to let it go on too long. We don't want these issues to fester. Uh, we certainly don't want to let it escalate to where your cat starts certainly scratching the furniture that's gonna happen uh, pr probably pretty quickly, scratching you, scratching other animals, other cats in the house. We don't, we hope, fingers crossed, that it doesn't escalate to scent marking or spraying. Um, this is something that I have dealt with extensively, so if this is an issue you're having, I would love to talk to you. Uh, make sure to join the Patreon family. You can check the link in the description. Uh, it, it, that, this is something that I would love to talk to you about because it is something that I have personally dealt with with a cat for quite a while and we have a really, really good handle on it now. But scent marking is a part of having a cat. It just is. These are very territorial animals and if they feel that their uh, territory is being uh, harmed or encroached on by another animal, scent marking is a natural behavior for them. We don't want to let it escalate to that though. So working within our household within what with what we can with our cats to address these issues is going to be very very important that is the second possibly one of the most common issues with cats that are displaying aggression are territorial issues of course we can't leave out fear-based aggression cats get scared especially if you're dealing with a cat new to your household or a cat that maybe wasn't socialized appropriately at a very young age Fear is a very real thing, and when a, any animal, cats included, are scared, especially if they are backed into a corner, they have very few options. They have the same options we do, fight and flight, right? Meaning flee the scene. <laughs> if your cat can't get away, their only option is to fight. If they are scared, this is what happens, and that is an aggressive behavior. But hey, we need to respect our cat's boundaries and not box them into a corner. Um, if they're scared, we need to work with them, not against them, to help them feel better and overcome their fear so that we can also overcome the aggression. Now, of course, I don't want to make this all about bad things because sometimes cats are just playing and they can become a little overly aggressive because there is a such thing as play aggression as well. So taking the whole situation into account with your cat is going to be very, very important. Of course, I think for most of us, unless you have just never dealt with a cat before, are going to realize the difference in play aggression and other forms of aggression. But if you are brand new to cats and you've never had a cat before, there is a such thing as play aggression and maybe you are playing with your cat and it is just getting a little too rough and they're getting a little too rowdy for you, back it off a little bit. Choose different ways to play with your cat if that concerns you, but Let's get to the meat of this, okay? Because regardless of whatever kind of aggression that your cat is having, if it is a negative form of aggression, not just play aggression, then first and foremost, we do wanna see the veterinarian because again, there's that pain issue because your cat, all cats, are really, really good at hiding when they don't feel well, which is why we often don't catch disease until later stages in our cats. So get in with your veterinarian, let them know about the sudden changes in behavior, the, the aggression that your cat is displaying so that your vet can give them a thorough checkup and find if any uh, pain is going on for your cat or other illness or disease. We wanna get this knocked out first and foremost. We wanna make sure that our cat is 
healthy before we move on to any behavior modification. So once you've got the vet checkup and you've got a clean bill of health and we're moving on to behavior modification, there are some foundational uh, things that we wanna talk about. And now I would highly recommend you go back and check out my Happy Cat playlist because we did an entire month, September 2021, about happy cats. There is a ton of content in there, especially if you are a first time cat parent that I would highly recommend you check out. Let me give you some of the Cliffs notes, okay? We wanna make sure our cats have plenty of vertical space. We wanna make sure that they have, uh, you have at least one litter box for every cat in your house, plus one. We wanna make sure that we are cleaning those litter boxes regularly consistently. We want to make sure that we are feeding our cats the highest quality food we can possibly afford to feed them. The closer to species appropriate, the better. And if you think about what cats eat outside, they eat prey animals. They eat birds, lizards, mice. Let's, let's look at getting your cat onto a species appropriate diet. Um, plenty of play, right? We want to make sure we are playing with our cat multiple times a day and we are taking them through a very natural progression using toys where they hunt and stalk their prey. They get to kill their prey by catching it. They get to eat once they are done playing. They will then clean themselves and sleep. This is a natural routine for your cat that we want to mimic for them. So treating your cat like a cat. There are lots of other things that I talked about on that happy cat playlist. I would love for you to go back and check all of that out to make sure that you are meeting all of your cat's needs. But these are gonna be some of the absolute best ways that we can support our cat and ensure that there is no unnecessary aggression on their part. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. If you are interested in the book that I am writing about cats, leave a comment below, let me know, because I can provide you with a link to sign up for notifications. You can get on my email list because I will definitely be sending out an email to my list when the book does become available. Uh, so you can grab a copy for yourself. Also, as I mentioned earlier, I do hope to see you join the Patreon family. The link is in the description. It should be the very first link in the description. Uh, the Patreon family is incredible because you get loads of extra content, new content, first look behind the scenes. Also, you get direct access to me if you have comments or questions and you can join for as little as a dollar a month. It helps me to continue to bring content like this to you and other pet parents like you. And if you haven't already, I hope you are following along on the podcast. Wherever you get podcasts, you can get my podcast, The Pet Parenting Reset. We have some really awesome shows lined up for you, but don't forget to go back and listen to all the back shows because there's some incredible content there as well. Wherever you get your podcast, make sure to follow the Pet Parenting Reset. All right, guys, with that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Please give your pets some extra love from me. Until next time, bye guys. Bye.